Hello there, ladies and gents. My name is Story, and I'm absolutely overwhelmed. Forsaken is upon us. There is a ton of fantastic new things to do in Destiny 2. The whole shape of the game has changed. The surface, the inside, the everything. Everything has just changed. And uh, I'm a bit stuck as, what, as to what to do for a weekly reset video because everything's different, look. So uh, let's just start at Strikes. So we've got daily heroic story missions and Vanguard Strikes. Recommended power 300 for the Strikes and story missions are at 280. And Nightfall is a recommended power of 540, so we won't be touching that for a little minute unless you've been grinding all throughout the night and haven't slept and you're addicted to meth. Um, Crucible playlists... We've, of course, we've got our quick play and competitive as normal and rumble. Um, the rotary playlist this week is doubles. So uh, you can earn plenty legendary gear. In fact, all the powerful gear that you earn from various milestones is now integrated in to these um, playlists. We've got this little yellow symbol here for challenges. So milestones have kind of been superseded by these challenges so uh, you can just pay attention to earn your gear by looking at those little things and squealing with delight um so yeah the the tower is pretty much the same we've got a new vendor i don't want to spoil too much for you this is kind of it's probably one of the most awkward weekly reset videos in the world because i don't want to spoil too much but maybe we can have a look at what tess has got um to for sale we've got bounties let's pick those up i can only pick up one at one at one at a time um but oh my word look just look at all the new things um let's start with armor look at this this whole new get up for the eververse armor it's a shame that you can only preview the character class that you're playing on at the moment. Like, I can't look at the Hunter stuff without logging in as a Hunter and Titan. But everything looks very, very smooth. Uh, really like this style of stuff. Um, as about ornaments, look. Spoilers. We've got ornaments for guns that we've had for a while. Ornaments for guns that we don't have and we want. And there's ornaments for legendary stuff. Look at this. Equip this weapon ornament to change the appearance of Hazard of the Cast. So once you get an ornament, it's unlocked for all characters on your account. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's like an MP5 with ivory grasps and stuff. Oh my word, what's this? I want it in my life. Look at that. I want to be a gunslinger of the Wild West in Destiny. Past is past. Oh my word, that, 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 that stuff looks absolutely fantastic. The chaperone is making um, a comeback in the game. Uh, it, that looks much more thick, doesn't it? That looks hugely thick. And I'm incredibly excited about this hand cannon. Look at that. Give it to me now. It, it, it's a good job that you can't buy these things in Eververse. Otherwise, I'd be bankrupt right now like an idiot. Bows. Tangled Outrider, the bows. Oh my word. I mean... Yeah, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff to get your lips around here. Weapon ornaments wise, got to look at the tractor cannon one. Look at that. I'll have that. I'll have that. I will. Risk runner. Hmm. Anyway, ghost shells. I mean, a whole new variety of ghosts as well as the ones from um, very similar ones from Warmind. I'm really liking the look of this tyrant shell. Look at that. Um, how about emotes? Uh, all mine, all mine, all mine. The fog on the tine. Look at that moats. Sniffing the moats. Very delicate. Red card. Come here, come here. That's it. You're off. Get off. There you go. Poultry petting. A friend of mine got this immediately. It, as if. You know, now has come the time in Destiny 2 where you can pet a pink holographic chicken. I mean, that's life complete. And um, all all alone, this is definitely, this, this is me, this is. That's, that's the emote that I will be having equipped all the time. Uh, sad trombone, this is quite beautiful and poetic, in all honesty. Oh, look, I just dropped it and it's turned into dust. That's why it's sad. And the unbridled enthusiasm. Yep. 
we all know people like that, don't we? We've all been people like that. We all aspire to be like that. And various legendary modes and stuff. Hurt sparrows. My word, this new design and aesthetic, I really do appreciate. I think it's just because it's new stuff. Warriors, look at that. That looks like a cleaning. You'd expect someone from Seoul, the cleaning company, to be riding around on that. And getting rid of all the rubbish. Ravager's ride. I mean, you need a tetanus shot from just looking at that, really. Does it take a shader? Not really. Hot tetanus. But that very, very um, scary stuff, in all honesty. Ships. There are, there are some hilarious ships. Um, same guy, a friend of mine got the poultry emote, got that. It's just like a flying potato in the sky, really. It's a potato craft, unfinal shapes, a bit of a hive thing here. And that's got to be the strangest looking ship ever. A reminiscent of some of the, the Taken King ones there. Oh, I like the, the color scheme. Mm, nice. Uh, shaders, have we got plenty of new shaders? Smashing success. That, that's very um, dapper. We like a bit of, I like a bit of purple in my life. I'm, I'm still rocking the Crimson Valor and the fact that I could buy it from collections. I'm not gonna, <laughs> there, there's another thing that's changed, ladies and gents. Look, event shaders, I'm not sure, because these are Crimson Days events, so if you weren't part of that, I'm not sure if you've got access to those, but that's a, that's a favorite of mine. And mods, a whole, and we've got these ghost projections as well. They're just like little symbols above your, your ghosts. I thought you could project them on walls like spray paints in Overwatch, but no, they just hover above your ghost. So I'm Tex Mechanica. Remember that? There is a huge amount of new bits and pieces to have a look at there. Tess is flogging things. And of course your prismatic matrix is back. So I've already had a chance. What did I get? Boots. Um, you can actually buy more um, Prismatic Matrix as well to get get yourself some stuff um, there. So there you go. Prismatic Matrix is back. I, I actually quite like that idea. I'm very glad that that's back because if there is a cosmetic item that you particularly have your teeth set, set into and you can't get it, you have a chance of getting it there. Besides, we'll all have it, you know, within a few weeks, months, years. Anyway, and then there's a second screen there where you can actually purchase stuff like you can do normally in Eververse if you're chasing after bits and bits, bits and pieces for bright dust. There you go, look. Accidental dance. That's like when you step on something sharp and painful. There you go. That is Tess, ladies and gentlemen. I, I'm Vendor-wise, I think... Each vendor now is going to be uh, concentrating on pursuits rather than having unlockable ranked items. Of course, we pick up our back bounties here. And they're not just strike bounties this time, like defeat multiple enemies at a time with your super. And then some will pertain to strikes. Pursuits. Here we have sections um, where you can obviously chase certain things. A nameless midnight with moving target and explosive payload. Random rolls on a nameless midnight with new sights as well. And there's a shotgun, Toil and Trouble. Kill Tracker. There we go, on a shotgun, Crucible Tracker. Nice. And that's a tier 10 masterwork as well. Uh, seasonal requires earning 10 ranks in season 4. That's a, a nice shader there. And an emblem earning 25 ranks in season 4. That's a Vala. If we mosey on over to... Mr. Shax is going to have very similar things for us as well, including a very tasty roll on a Better Devils. Um, I've already picked up the pursuits from this. I, I, I prematurely grabbed these. These are the pursuits, crucible ones. I think one of these is going to uh, be the broadsword, the Redrick's broadsword quest. Um, these are going to lead to some fantastic loot, I guess. This roll on the better devils, Jesus, accurized rangefinder and kill clip. It's all very tasty. And this very odd looking warlock helmet with hand cannon targeting these perks. How exciting are these perks? Remote connection, gain bonus, super energy on sniper rifle kills. 
fusion rifle reserves and sniper rifle reserves. And of course, seasonal rewards, shaders and emblems there. I think it's time that we ran on over to our favorite Benedict 99. Oh, no, the gunsmith. Let's have a look at the gunsmith. Has he got anything for us? New mods. Um, I'm assuming these change. We've got Grant's increased recovery and uh, radar tuner. Radar immediately returns when you stop aiming down sights. I guess those are going to rotate, maybe. Um, or maybe these are just there because I've got mod components in the bank. Probably that. Um, so, yeah, he's not. doesn't appear to be selling much there at this present time. So hopefully uh, things will unfold. But anyway, Benedict, where are you? Hello, sir. Right. Well, this is uh, the normal kind of setup. We've got the Eater of Worlds helmet there. Uh, available once you complete a Eater of Worlds. We've also got the gauntlets for Eater of Worlds. We've got the normal Moe's Leviathan chest piece. We've got Spyro Stars boots and a prestige class item as well as Sins of the Past rocket launcher. Those are all the same static roles that we're used to for Season 3 and Season 2 and Season 1, of course. A Cora, the Pecora has precisely nothing. Oh, look at this. It's the Drifter. He's here. So if you're getting your teeth stuck into Gambit, we've got available bounties from this fantastic gentleman. And Pursuit requires level 43. Reach Infamy rank 6 there. That is... Um, Oh, let's have a look at this. Bygones, a pulse rifle. This looks absolutely fantastic, and I want that in my life. I love this designs. We've seen the ornament for this earlier on, didn't we? Kill clip, full auto trigger system, extended mag, flared mag, well, arrowhead brake, corkscrew rifling. I'm very happy that, that there are some static rolls available, like good ones. So if you are getting some bad luck with random rolls, then uh, at least you've got some pursuits to uh, pursue. And then Mysterious Packages, Reset Your Infamy Rank Once. Enigmatic Package, Reset Your Infamy Rank Twice. And we've got a Ghost there as well. And Seasonal Rewards, uh, an Emblem and a Shader. Gambit Suede. Mm -hmm. Collections have moved from the Vault into your character's inventory. Um, we've got a variety of stuff here. Exotics, Weapons, Armor, Ghost Shells, Vehicles and Flare. This is the part that I was very happy to uh, see. For example, Tower. You've got all your uh, emblems that you've got access to here. Activities. Um, you know, you can pick up all your old uh, emblems that you like from within your character adventure at any point. Shaders accessible via this menu also. Look, here it is. My favorite. So I can just buy these for it's a quite expensive on the bright dust if i'm honest but you know whatever whatevs so uh competitive i keep saying i've got some stuff to look at here but um yeah but yeah it's it's all self-contained in your character's inventory i love the fact that you can preview weapons in the world um at the moment and find out how to get them like hazard of the cast source complete gambit matches and earn rank of packages from the drifter so if you're hearing on twitter for example there's a certain overpowered weapon in the crucible and uh, you're wondering how to get it you can just hop into your collections and have a look at the rather vague description of where it comes from but you know at least we have an idea and it includes blue weapons and and obviously the entry-level weapons bows so there's four legendary bows, no turning back, arsenic bite and subtle calamity. Subtle calamity, that sounds like my everyday life. Um, carbon arrow shaft. There's, there's plenty. Bows are a huge amount of fun. I've been having some great fun uh, in the campaign out there. Um, armor, obviously, is here. Oh, we've got full sets of everything. This is, this is fantastic stuff. Ancient apocalypse suit. This helmet looks rather tasty. Um, yeah, it uh, overwhelmed with amounts of stuff. Iron Remembrance is this Iron Banner? 
Source complete Iron Banner matches and earn rank of packages with Lord Saladin. Look at that. That's some very uh, obscure looking stuff. Trials ornaments. Those are the old school biz bits and pieces. Trials prestige ornaments. There you go. Um, open world. So we've got, we can basically look at all the armor from the vendors from here as well. I've already discovered some bits and pieces. Oh my word, look at that. That's a Prison of Elders, if ever there was one. Does that say something about Prison of Elders? Open legendary engrams and earn faction rank up packages. Okay. Uh, oh wow, Destiny 1 helmet. I can already hear the cries of recycled content right here. Oh, that looks scary. Look at that. That is actually quite frightening for some reason. Like, why am I scared? Why am I scared there? Insight. It's, it's just great being able to preview the stuff that you can get. And this is PlayStation, was PlayStation exclusive. I remember that when I was playing back on PlayStation before the PC launch. So you can grab yourself some of that business. And you can tell the stuff that you haven't looked at because it's got these flashy icons. So that's uh, it's very similar to the Osiris stuff that you get from Mercury. And it will tell you what ornaments you have unlocked and what you don't have unlocked, I guess. So that's, yeah, there we go. Look, collections, it's quite handy having all this here so you can look at it. Ghost shells, flare, armor, weapons. I mean, pursuit of weapons like hand cannons. I think this is the Duke 44 from Destiny 1. Wow. Can you Adam and Eve it? 10 paces, hand cannon. I like, I want this in my life. Can I have that now? That's a 140 rate. But you can't grab these once you acquire them. For example, I've uh, managed to acquire the thin line hand cannon, but I can't grab this from collections because it's a random roll. So that's it. If you delete it, that's it. You can't get it back from your collections, whether the, the old stuff that you've collected from um season three two and one you can just grab that out you can delete a whole bunch of stuff in your vault now basically and then just come back here and pick out the uh the static rolls so uh yes there's a, it's, it's crazy stuff and they triumphs this is like um things that you've done over the the seasons and uh, this total point score i have no idea what that is is going towards at the moment companions what's this for example let's see does this earn me points meet the drifter that got me some points there total score i mean we have this triumphs 193 out of 753 blimey we're going to be busy for a while ladies and gentlemen but there you go those are those are the basic changes that i can see at the moment i apologize if i've missed anything if there's anything that you feel um we need to cover in these videos because that may not weekly reset is going to change the surface of our weekly reset videos for sure so if you have any suggestions pop them in the comments or we'll take them all on board very gratefully in the meantime though folks have an absolutely fantastic time with forsaken if there's anything that you discover that you really enjoy that you want to share again slap that in the comments we'll look forward to reading it and having a good old chat in the meantime folks take care of yourselves take care of each other and remember enjoy yourselves Drink water, sleep, rest, don't know life it. Remember there's an outside and fresh air and jobs and responsibilities. Okay, bye-bye.